Lis and the 1st Armored Division have a new commanding general, but leading the troops during this time of social upheaval is no simple task. ABC 7's Will Heron sits down with Commanding General Sean Bernabe to find out what he's doing to help soldiers grow and adapt. Fort Bliss Commanding General Sean Bernabe took notes on the situation that took place at Fort Hood, and he believes getting to know his soldiers is the first step in preventing the problems and social issues his soldiers are facing. The assessment across the Army was that, uh, you know, we've been so busy for the last several years, uh, training on a very tight timeline, uh, deploying units overseas for a variety of missions, bringing them back from overseas, and then very rapidly resetting them for the next turn. And in that churn, in that very high operational tempo, perhaps we forgot what's most important, our people. After arriving at Fort Bliss, Commanding General Bernabe spoke with other senior commanders to come up with a plan. So Operation People First is a campaign. It's a campaign to make sure that we truly emphasize what's important, our people. The general has put a stop to all non-essential services on post this week for a new kind of training. We've directed the soldiers to write an essay, an essay about, hey, where did I come from? How did I grow up? And the idea is not to grade them on their writing skills. The idea is to start a conversation with their leaders about who they are. General Bernabe believes that learning about the soldier is important to changing their behavior. We really need to know who they are and where they come from, what makes them tick, what's important to them. And therefore, how can we help them achieve their goals? Or where do we need to put leader energy? The leaders take some time to make a phone call, call mom and dad, introduce themselves and say, hey, by the way, your son or your daughter is a great member of our team. Let me tell you about one of the great things that she did last week. Commanding General Bernabe told me a story about how he called one of his soldier's fathers, left a long voice message on his phone. His soldier got back to him saying his father was choked up that the commanding general would reach out to his son to get to know him. Here at the headquarters of the 1st Armored Division, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.